So today I'll be showing you how to connect your camera SD card to your iPhone so you can actually look at photos and videos you took with your camera on your iPhone. Now for this one we're actually going to need two things. One is a memory card reader. This is the one you'd normally connect to a computer. You insert the SD card here, right here, and then insert this into a computer or this other end into uh, any other device. And also we are going to need this adapter. This is a lightning on one side and then also a type A port on the other side and also an extra lightning pass through so you can actually charge the devices. And this is important to have one with this uh, lightning pass through. And that's because some of the devices you connect will actually give you an error on the iPhone saying that that device requires too much power. And that's why this comes in because you can actually add power by putting a connected lightning cable here, connect the other side to power, and that's going to power everything else as you use your accessories. So this is very important to have one with a lightning pass through. So the first thing you need to do is obviously connect power. So add extra power, connect one light, one side of the lightning cable to power and the other side of the lightning cable there. So that should give power to your iPhone. You can actually see it's charging right there. And then now simply put your camera SD card into the card reader. Just like that. And then connect this type A port into the type into the type A port. Did I say type A port twice? So this is what you'll end up with. This is a kind of setup you're going to have. So you have the SD card into the card reader and the card reader into this adapter and that's going straight into the iPhone. So now once you do that, let me just put it this way for better viewing. So now that everything is connected, all you need to do is now is go into files. And if you go into files and then go to browse, so you can go on the main page. So tap on browse and then make sure you, you're on this page where you can actually see locations. If you're not on this page and you're probably somewhere like here, simply tap the back button and that should take you to the browse page. Now here you can actually see locations. You can see your iCloud drive, iPhone recently deleted. And if you have any third party accessory like I have, you can see my Nikon D32 uh, camera has been detected. Not, not camera, my uh, Nikon D32 storage device, which is this SD card. So if I open, I can actually get into the folders and actually look at the photos I was taking with my camera. So I can scroll through photos just like that. Might take a bit of time because uh, the huge photos. I can even look at some of the videos that I recorded if I have one. Yeah. Now, if you want to, you can actually uh, long press like that and this menu will appear and you can actually copy some of the files from this SD card into your phone's memory. So all you need to do is tap on copy and then you can go back and go back and go back and back again and go onto your iPhone storage, choose a folder and then you can actually tap on the menu at the top there and paste uh, the things you copied. Or rather, instead of tapping on the menu, simply uh, touch and hold an empty space and a menu will appear and you can actually paste an item just like that. You can see that photo being transferred into my uh, iPhone's memory. And that's basically how you can connect your camera memory card or your camera SD card onto your iPhone and actually transfer files. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.